Hello, everybody. Welcome at the third webinar. Hello, hello. So I want to see your comments to know that you are present here. Just say hi to me. Welcome each other. Hi, guys. It's nice to have you again there. So let's begin. And today, finally, we have this grammar topic, and we will deal. We will deal with all the present tenses together. So it may look pretty simple because, come on, like present tense is what can be complicated there. But I assure you that we will work with lots of different things, and I hope you will find something new. Or maybe if you always struggled with present tenses, you will finally have a chance to learn them. So, hello, hello. I see so many comments. All right. I think we are ready to work. So, let's begin. And first of all, speaking of present tenses, let's remind what present tenses you know. So, write in the comment which present tenses you know and maybe tell me uh, which are the most difficult for your understanding. Тож сьогодні ми поговоримо про теперішні часи. In the comments, в коментарях, please tell me which present tenses are the hardest for you, які з часів є найважчими з теперішніх. Okay, present simple, present continuous. All right, what else? Present perfect. Mm -hmm. Simple perfect continuous. I think you mean present perfect continuous. All right. So let's look at the screen and find out all of them. So here we have webinars every Thursday. So what tense is that? If we meet every... Oh, sorry, we meet on Fridays. Oh, my God. So what does it mean? Which tense is that? Okay, that is simple. So yeah, we have some regular action and it happens every week. So then it is present simple. All right, next one. So we are having a webinar right now. So what tense is that? What is happening right now? Again, your comments, please. That is continuous. It is, but now let's check spelling because I see some mistakes there. So that is present continuous. Pay attention. You write it with U O U, just like that, present continuous. Okay. So what tense is this? We have already had two webinars. We have already had two webinars. So we have some result expressed with numbers. Yes, you're right. That is perfect. So we have present perfect here. And the last one, we have been having webinars for three weeks. So what is that? Let's name it correctly. Present perfect continuous. Yes, Yaroslav. Okay, and everyone else. Present perfect continuous. So today we will deal with all of them and you will finally figure out what's the difference maybe between the most complicated two, present perfect continuous and present perfect. But we will start with the simpler things. So let's go. And first of all, present simple. So why do we actually need present simple? For what do we use it? First of all, that is for repeated actions or our habits or anything that we do regularly. Like I wake up every morning, I have my lessons every day, or for example, I meet with my friends every weekend. So everything that is repeated, yeah, that is regular or repeated actions. For example, I always drink coffee for breakfast. 
So that is something that you have always. Okay, someone says timetables can be like that. So also we have general truth or facts. So it may be not repeated. It may be just a fact, something well known, something which is always true. For example, sun rises in the east. It's always it always rises at the same place, so in the east. Or for example, doctors help people. So that's a rule, that's just a statement. You cannot change it. Doctors help people. Or for example, he lives in New York. Again, that is not repeated. That's more like a fact or constant action, which is always true. So this third rule for using present simple is with stative verbs. So stative verbs, or sometimes state verbs, are verbs that uh, mark not some action, but state. Статичні дієслова позначають лише якийсь стан і не містять в собі жодної дії. Let's look at the examples. Emotions. So you say something like, she likes sushi. Doesn't matter if it's right now or always, we never say she is liking sushi. No, not like that. So can it happen that, for example, right now you like something and a second after you start hating it? I really doubt. Навряд чи така трапиться, right? So that means that when we speak about our preferences, likes, dislikes, we use present simple only. Also, it comes to our desires, бажання, or our needs. So, for example, you can say, I want, I want a new phone, or I need a new computer to study. So, you cannot say, I am wanting it, because that's not correct. You never use stative verbs in present continuous, only simple. I think he needs some help. Even if he needs it right now, the verb need cannot be used in continuous. So you would never say something like that. He is needing. It even sounds strange. So just remember that you never, never put such verbs in present continuous or with ing ending. Okay, let's move on and... Here also stative verbs mark some senses. So when you describe something that happens around you, you don't say, I am seeing someone. I see someone, I hear someone, and I feel something around me. So what do you see and hear or maybe even feel around yourselves? Type in the chat. Just simple sentences. What is there around you? What can you see, hear, and feel? For example, I see my laptop. I see my presentation. I see my comments. I can hear some noise from the neighbors. And I can see my fridge working in another room. Okay, you hear me. A bed, a table, I see a computer. That's logical. So just remember, you never say I am hearing or I am seeing something if it's around you. You just hear and see them. Okay, perfect. So I hear some noise, but I don't see anything. That's another example here. Okay. Another usage of present simple is what you wrote before, schedules and timetables. So pay attention here, present and future meanings. That means that you can say something like this. The train leaves like in 15 minutes. Hurry up. So it's clearly future because, come on, we have something like in 15 minutes, not even now. but as it is scheduled action, we use present simple leaves 
for it, even though it's future. All right, then let's look at another example. The lesson starts at 4 p.m. tomorrow. So again, the action will happen only tomorrow. So it's future action. But as it is scheduled or it is in your timetable, then we say starts as present simple. Okay, let's keep moving. And now another way of usage is to say some, to tell some jokes, stories, or for example, retell the plot of a film or a book. So you may say, in this book, the hero saves the princess and marries her. Because it's really hard to say if events in the book already happened, or maybe they will only happen for you if you didn't read it. So for that, we may use present simple, and that will be all right. Also, a joke. Tomorrow, yes, tomorrow is future. Zavtra, meaning tomorrow, right? So we speak about future events, but we use present simple, like starts there. Okay, so a joke. Two introverts walk into a room. One leaves. Again, you use present simple, not past, to tell a joke. And Newspaper headlines. For example, exit poll shows, not has shown, not showed, but shows as present simple, incredible results of the election. Or as you can see here, Marilyn Monroe dies. So we use present simple form for something that already happened because it's a headline. So now, Let's look there. It rains a lot in England. General truth. The bus leaves every 15 minutes. Schedule or timetable. Anna catches a bus to school every day. Routine. We want a new car. That's activity of your mind. Something that is happening like want or need or Think or no. Germany's band wins the Eurovision Song Contest. That is a headline. And the main character fights the evil and rescues her father. The story of a book. So right now, I want to see in the comments um, some news that you recently heard presented as a headline. So what tense are we using for that? What tense will you use to present some news as in the headline? In the comments, please. Yeah, present simple. So guys, please, any news that you recently heard in present simple. So I can say that many countries support Ukraine today. Present simple. Mm -hmm. All right. But also you can say Ukraine not will get back. Ukraine gets back all the territories before summer. All right. Joe Biden arrives to Kiev. Yeah, even though it happened a few days ago, you can use present simple. I like it. All right. What else? Any more news? I know you heard some. Mm -hmm. American president flies to Kiev. Sounds nice. I like it. Okay, you got it. So then. When we speak about form, we usually use just a simple form of the verb. So let's look here. I hope all of that is familiar to you, but let's look closer. USA gives a lot of help for Ukraine. Yeah, I like your pieces of news. Sounds great. 
So when we have some sentence in present simple with to be, you use its present form am, is, or are. If you have some verb there, you don't need am, is, are. You just use a verb itself or the verb with s if it is he, she, or it. If you make it negative and you have no verb, you say, I am not. For example, I am not sad. I am happy right now. Or, are you hungry? No, I am not. Because hungry, sad are not verbs. But if some verb is included, then you use don't or doesn't for negative forms and do, does to make a question. So here are some examples. My mom likes ice cream. So there we have an extra S in the end because mom is she. My mom doesn't like ice cream. Tell me please, do we need S here? Maybe it's missing. Of course, no, because we have doesn't there. All right. And if it's a question, we say, does my mom like, again, no S, ice cream? When it is the sentence with to be, so there is no verb there, you use am is are. For example, I am a student. A student is not a verb, so you use I am. Or for example, I am at home now. So this sentence marks only place, and no action. Or am I at the right place? Again, you speak about place, not some action. So you use am is are. Okay, so I hope this stuff is pretty easy for you. And let's move on to something maybe a bit more tricky. So when it comes to endings, we have different of them. So right now, try to add S to the following verbs. Remembering that we change Y for I, E. We change CH, S, SH, CS, and other whistling sounds for ending IS. And we change have for has, do for does, and go for goes. Okay, I already see many answers. Keep trying, and we will check it in a second. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So cry. He or she cries with letter I instead of Y. Wash. He or she washes the dishes. Enjoy. We say enjoys. So pay attention here. If we have consonant plus Y, preholosny, and then Y, we change it for I. But if we have a vowel, Holosne, O, before Y, we do not change anything. So enjoy, y, sound Y, you still remain it like Y in your changed word. Okay, so go changes for goes. After letter O, you usually add is try, becomes tries. So again, if letter Y makes sound E or I, then you change it. Watch, watches, mm -hmm. do changes for does, and pass, passes, because triple S in one row would sound a bit weird. Okay, nice work there. So then, when do we use present continuous? First of all, it's obvious things that are happening right now. So I am speaking right now. You are listening to me right now. We all are typing in the chat right now. And she is running a marathon now. So as we are speaking. Also, we use present continuous for actions happening 
around the time when we speak. So, around the time when we speak. Can it be something like a week? What do you think, yes or no? Can we mark a week in present continuous? Someone says maybe, someone says yes. So what if I say, I am working on a serious project this week? Can be? Yes, why not? Can it be, let's say, a month? Yeah, why not? It can be a month. For example, we are learning present tenses this month so it's a topic of your month at school can it be a year can we use present continuous for a year someone says no someone says yes so let's imagine mary who usually works at the office but then she decided to take a huge vacation, like one year vacation. And this year she is traveling all around the world. So continuous can be any of any duration, but the most important thing about that is it has clear beginning and clear ending. So when you speak about continuous, you know for sure that it started at some point, maybe at the beginning of the year, and it will finish at some point. For example, this year comes to an end and Mary goes back to work. But between those two points, she is traveling. And this moment when she is traveling, it includes now, current moment. So it started before, it will finish later, but it has clear beginning, clear ending. And it's happening right now or around right now. And also, we use present continuous to express current changes. So these two graphs, they may mark different things, but maybe that's about this. The number of people studying English is growing rapidly. That means that with every day, we have more and more and more people who study English. And for those changes, if it's growing or falling down, we use present continuous. Okay. A few more things about present continuous are annoying or irritating repeated behavior. So usually we say something like this, he never answers my phone calls. But if you really hate that for example your best friend you need your best friend you're calling them and they don't answer you you can say like oh my god my best friend is never answering my phone calls or for this person someone singing too loud should be irritating you are always singing too loud so kind of present simple because repeated action with always but as we want to show our annoyance, we use R and ING there. So now it's your turn. Try to write in the chat something that you really hate. Maybe about your classmates, maybe about some of your friends' habits. So whatever comes to your mind. Maybe you have noisy neighbors. For example, my neighbor is always hitting the wall when he is playing games and that's too much noise so what about you what do you hate or what gets you irritated right in the chat But how to make it in continuous? Okay. Uh -huh. I see Paulina's question. Mary is traveling this year. Uh, no, we don't need four. 
because that's all right to say just this year. Or I am working on something this week. I am studying something this month. I am traveling somewhere this year. So no. Okay, I finally have some sentences. So my friend is always playing the game in the phone. Yeah, that can be annoying, especially when they ignore you. My relatives are always speaking too loud. Yeah, okay. He's always being late. The dog is always roaring to my children. Oh my God, that's bad. Our neighbor is always yelling when he's too emotional. So guys, so many sentences. Now you know how to complain in continuous. Good job. My sister are or is? I think my sister is always crying a lot. Yeah. My best friend is always sleeping. <laughs> Can be. Okay. So thank you for your sentences. Sorry if I didn't read some of them aloud, but I checked them and all of them are cool. <laughs> Okay, uh, my mom is always making lunch for me. Is it irritating or annoying? Don't you like that? Because we usually use continuous only to show irritation. So I wouldn't say that. I would be happy if my mom cooked lunch for me. All right. And one more way of using is arrangements for the future. So if we plan to have something in the future, we can also use continuous. We are meeting at 5 p.m. at Chinese restaurant. So it's not now. It will be in the future. But we say we are meeting. As you would say in Ukrainian, мы зустрічаємося сьогодні о п'яті. Зустрічаємося, like present, but for the future action, сьогодні о п'яті. The same you would say about moving somewhere or traveling. We are flying to Paris next week. So you already have tickets, it's already planned. Ми летимо до Парижу наступного тижня. Because it's like 100% sure. So if it's decided, uh, then you can use continuous for future actions. Uh, okay. So here, you need to guess what rule it is. So number one. TikTok is evolving and capturing the interest of both brands and celebrities. What do you think? What rule is that? Is it something in the future? Is it something happening right now? Maybe some arranged plan? TikTok is evolving and capturing the interest of both brands and celebrities. So that is continuous, but what rule is that? It's about some changes. So we can say that TikTok is getting more and more and more popular all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, number two, I'm leaving at three. So what rule is that? I'm leaving at three. Yeah, it's arrangement or plan. So it's something that happening not now, but in the future. And you say something like, Ya idu o treti, right? So I am leaving like a future action. Okay, then what about the next one? She's constantly missing the train. What is number three? She's constantly missing the train. Is it some change? What do you think? Are you happy about her missing the train? No. So that it can be, no, it's not a habit. We usually use present simple. Like, I always catch my train at 8 o'clock. But if she's constantly missing it, постійно не встигає. It's an annoying habit. Yes, exactly. Something that you don't really like. And the last one. Students are studying online these days. 
So it's not necessarily that every student is studying right now because it's the evening and most of you are back from schools. Yeah, I see period of time. So that's around the time when we speak. These days, meaning during the quarantine, during the war and so on, but not necessarily this very moment. Okay. So when we speak about present continuous form, that's always M is R and ING ending. So basically that's it. And the only thing I want to pay your attention to here is about endings. So when a verb ends for IE, like lie, you change it for Y, making lying. When it already has E, you just omit it or drop it. And you say giving. And when you have double E, you do nothing. You just add ing to this word. Okay. What about the word shop? If you have P in the end. What should you do with that P when you say shopping? Double P, exactly. What about travel? Also double. Traveling, or as Americans would say, traveling with one L. So here, British people would say traveling with double, or Americans would say traveling one L, and that will be all right. And what about the word forget? Again, double T, forgetting. Okay, nice work. So just remember, make them double if you need it. All right. So then, some tricky word that we've just met in the previous activity, lie, lying. Here, there are three of them. So the first lie is brechate, obmanivate. Say something which is not true. For example, don't trust him, he's lying. Second lie is lejate, or to stay in horizontal position. For example, I am lying in bed because I feel unwell. And the third word is lay, which means poklaste, put something down. Or if we speak about animals, produce eggs. So a hen can lay eggs. And their second form is different. So when you lie, obmanish, you lied in the past and lied in the third form. And you are lying right now. When you lie, lejete, in the past you lay, and in the third form it's laying, but ing form is still lying. And when you put something poklasti, then it's laid in the second and laid in the third and laying with ing. Yeah, so here they are. I know that they are painful, but anyway, I think it's glad that you saw them one more time. And let's keep moving. So we already mentioned state or stative verbs, but now let's look at them more in details. So first of all, they describe states, stun, not an action, and they are not used in present continuous. So they don't make ing form, never ever. For example, we cannot say, do you understanding or are you understanding? Mm -mm. We say, do you understand? Even if we mean right now. Or, I don't believe you. You never say, I am not believing. It's not right. I don't believe you. Dynamic verbs. Dynamichni, dieslova. Or dieslova, yaki poznachayu dii. They actually describe actions and then can be used in both tenses, present simple and present continuous. So some stative verbs can be used both in present continuous and present simple. For example, I think ya vajayu is only in simple, but I am thinking ya podumuyu na chims, ya rozmirkovuyu na chims can be used in continuous. I am thinking about going to the shop at the weekend. Continuous, but I think 
going to the shop would be a great idea. Я вважаю, it will be a good idea. So then, no continuous. Another tricky word is have. But before we move there, here is a stative verb list. Here are just some, some of them. But if you want to learn even more, I prepared something nice for you. So you can scan this QR code or again, find a pinned message in our chat. Stative verbs quizlet. We have it pinned in the chat. So yeah, you can scan this QR code and find the list of the most commonly used stative verbs there. I'm wondering, I wonder, uh, well, it can be. It's used, especially in colloquial speech. So scan the QR code or follow the link. There is a nice set of verbs that you may learn and practice. And we move on to the word have. So it can be used in present simple and in present continuous. But in present simple only, we use have when it comes to possession. So when you are the owner of a house, you say, I have a house. Or you have a mom, a dad, you have a sister or a brother, you have a cat or a dog. You don't do anything. You just have them like passively. So that is no continuous. But if we mark some activities, for example, I am having a bath, we are having a party, we are having a good time, we are having dinner or lunch, kind of, then you can use them in continuous. So she can't talk right now. She's having a bath. So it's not like all of us have bathroom and a bathtub, but she's having one up Or I am at the park and we are having a picnic. So it's not like but we are eating, talking and uh, spending nice time somewhere in the park. So that's why we are having continuous. So now it's your time to work. Let's look at the sentences and try to put the verbs in the correct form. So while you are writing the answers, I can read that. So both pictures show people at the seaside. In the first picture, I can see four people on the beach. A middle-aged man is holding a little girl who not want to go in the water. So what should we put in the first cap? Don't want, doesn't want, is not wanting, aren't wanting. What is correct? Who doesn't want to go in water? Yeah, because want is never used in continuous. Okay, I guess she, number two, or number three, sorry. I guess she hate, she. She hates. Again, hate is our emotion. So we cannot use it in continuous. Everything like likes, dislikes are never used in continuous. So she hates water. And that's why she is crying. Yes, exactly. She is crying because it's active verb. Two other boys. Number five. Two other boys build a sand castle on the beach. They are building, again, actively. Yes. So they are building it. There are only two people in, uh, in the other picture, and they are boys in the sea. I can see a teenage boy who wear odjahnene, nosic. So what should we put here in number six? Who is wearing mm -hmm, red trunks and a swimming cap? The boy, number seven.
play. Is it always or is it right now? Plays or is playing? Is playing, yes, exactly, because it's happening right now. He is playing with a dog and they both seem, zdaються, vyhľadajúť, seems, really, they, both, seem, because we don't use s after they. It's only for he, she. So they seem, zdaються, very happy. Okay. In the distance, I can see one more person, probably a man. He he what? He is swimming again actively. And I what? Think, thinking all the people into pictures are on holidays. I think because it's like ya vajayu, expressing your opinion. I think all the people in the two pictures are on holiday and they have or having a good time. They are having, because it's not about mate volodytes chimps, but provodete chas, they are having a good time. Of course, good job there. Thank you for your comments. They are really great. So now let's go to something more difficult. Present, perfect, continuous, and present, perfect. Look at this picture. The girl looks tired, right? So what was she doing before? What can it be? She has been exercising for two hours. So we can clearly see the person who looks tired, and we can assume ми можемо здогадатися, that she was, she was busy with something for some time before the moment of speech. So right now she is not exercising, but she has been exercising for a long time. Or we can say about bigger periods of time, she has been going to the gym since spring with Vesni. So, we use present perfect continuous when we want to show that some action maybe happened, maybe finished, maybe is still in progress. So, she was in progress for some time before this very moment, and now maybe she ended, or maybe she is still in progress. So, if it's not mentioned, it actually doesn't matter. But with present perfect continuous, you know that before now, it was in progress for some time. Or to say correctly, it has been in progress. Okay, so she has been exercising for two hours. Now, she has some result in present perfect simple. Look at the scales. And now has lost two kilos this month. So here we have no, ac no action in progress before, but we have some result with real numbers. She has lost two kilos. Or since spring, she has lost six kilos. So do you see any long action here? No. Тут немає жодної тривалої дії, but we have some result, right? And that is what present perfect is about. So we use present perfect simple when action happened recently and have some result now. So look at this girl. She is very happy. Why so? She has just passed her English exam. She says, I have passed my English exam. That's why I am happy. So, something she just did in the past results in her mood right now. Also, we use present perfect when we speak about actions that happened in the past and we are not focused on time. It's not important. Or maybe we just don't know when it happened. For example, I've heard that Jim 
has bought a car. Jim has bought a car. When? Like maybe a week ago, maybe a few days ago, but he has a new car right now. So that's what important result right now. Or I have met him before. Like we had meeting, but I don't even remember when exactly. But I have met him, meaning right now I know this person. Also, actions that happened in some unfinished period of time. So, they can happen still during this time. For example, I have already drunk coffee today. So, can I drink a few more cups till the end of the day? Yeah, why not? I can add some more coffee into my organism. Or, I have been abroad three times, meaning in my life. Also unfinished period of time, right? So. I plan to go there again, and I can still go abroad. Now let's compare two sentences. The first one is this. I ate, let's say, twice yesterday. So can we change this number? Can we eat one more time yesterday? I really doubt we cannot change them. So yesterday is already in the past. I'm sorry, that is a typo. And yeah, we cannot change it. But what about today? If today I say I have eaten twice today, can I still have some late dinner or supper? Yes, because today is not over, so we can change it for, for example, three times and so on. So that's the difference. If we speak about unfinished period of times, like today, this week, this year, we can still catch up and get some more results. So that's why if you mean any unfinished period of time, even the whole your life, then you can use present perfect. For example, I have been to Lviv five times, but I can visit it more, right? Why not? Okay. I have been abroad three times and I plan to go there again. I can change it. So time markers of present perfect are ever and never. Like, have you ever been somewhere? used for questions mostly? No, I have never been there. If the action finished recently, you can say, I have already or I have just finished something. But if you make a question, you can say, have you finished yet? No, I haven't finished yet. So yet is used for negatives and questions mostly. Again, the thing I said, unfinished periods of time, today, this month, week, also, not far from now, recently, and also since and for I used in present perfect. Now let's check for what reasons we use present perfect continuous. So first of all, activities which started in the past and continue up to now. I have been learning English for three years, meaning I still learn it or I'm still learning it, right? So I started three years ago. It was in process before now and it will be continuing. Actions from the recent past, which have some results. For example, Right now, I feel exhausted because I have been working in the garden all day. Or for example, he looks tired because he has been running for three hours. So usually there you can find how long the action was in progress. But sometimes you just understand that from the context. Like why is your shirt so dirty? I have been painting the room. So maybe it's not ready yet, but you were busy with that for some time. And time markers of present perfect continuous 
are something like this. Since some point in the past, for example, she or he has been working here since 2019. So you mark some point in the past or for some period of time. So if he has been working there since 2019, he has been working there for three years. So rather you say z jakogoś czasu or for protiagom jakogoś czasu. When you use them, you should remember that we say I have done something, the third form of the verb, or I have been doing something, have has been and ing for continuous. And one more thing you should remember is irregular verbs. So when you use present perfect, you should always check if the verb is irregular. And here, checking this QR code or the link, again, it should be pinned in your chat, irregular verbs. You can find the page with many, many words in alphabetical order, so you can check them later on. I hope it will be useful. So here it's like, probably one of the biggest collections of irregular verbs. Okay, so done. We use present perfect continuous to focus on the activity itself, especially when we answer the question for how long, meaning Maria has been cooking all day. Sometimes we can skip this all day so it can be without it, but we still understand that if there is some dish ready or if Maria looks tired or if uh, we feel some smell from the kitchen, we can understand that Maria has been cooking. So does it show some result or not really? Not necessarily. So when we say Maria has been cooking, maybe there is no dish in the kitchen, but she was definitely in the process. And if we want to say that there is some result, we would say she has cooked. Vona prihotovala. So she has been cooking would be translated like vona hotovala. Hotovala, hotovala, tajne dohotovala, you know? So maybe it's not ready. But if we say she has cooked, then there is a delicious dinner on the table. Yeah. Okay. So done. Let's probably practice a little bit. So here you have the same verb, but you need to use it twice and decide on your own whether it's present perfect simple or present perfect continuous. So let's try. He... The verb drive since yesterday evening. So is it about duration of action or is it about some result? Has been driving. Yes, he has been driving since yesterday with Uchora. So we know exactly that there is some progress, but we don't know if he actually came to the destination point. What about number two? He drive 500 kilometers so far. Yes, he has driven. So here we have a clear result, 500 kilometers. That's a lot. What about number two? She, the verb read, 200 pages of the book. So she has read because we have a clear result. And okay, I see for two days she has been reading. So here we don't know if she finished the book or not, if there is some result or not, but she has been reading for two days. But maybe she is not ready yet. Okay, and the last one, number three. They, the verb play, for 20 minutes. I already see correct answers. They have been playing. 
Yes. So that is present perfect continuous. We know just the time. And the last one, they. have scored, sorry, a different verb, Zabele, two goals. So they have scored two goals, that's a result. Okay, so now a few more useful tips. When it comes to the verbs like live, work, study, or do, you can use both present simple or present continuous. So you say he has worked in this company for five years, or he has been working in this company for five years. And that would be the same. Or the, about the word live, you can say he has lived or he has been living here for 10 years and that's all right. So is it correct or not? I have been knowing him all my life. What do you think? I have been knowing him for all my life. No, why not? Of course, it's not correct. So can we use the word no in continuous? The correct one would be, I have known him for all my life. That means we cannot use continuous with state verbs. So for them, we only use present perfect simple. I have known him, not been knowing. Exactly. What about this one? Is it correct? I have been cutting my finger and now it hurts. No, it's not correct as well. So, it sounds like palit, but simply saying it's a short action. So, you would say I have cut my finger. Porizala or puris of palettes. So for short action verbs, we use only present simple. Like I dropped something, puste of something, or I break something, rozbil, switch, vimknu, open, vidkrev, and so on. So if it requires like a few seconds to do it, then you never use continuous for it. Okay. So now let's try correcting some mistakes. Pete, has been winning the chess championship four times. Do you see the mistake? Can you type a correct option? Okay, I see some answers. So, Peter has won. We have just a result. Number two, I haven't visited my grandmother since a long time. What's wrong there? Okay, for a long time, because you say, not z, Okay. My brother always liked strawberry ice cream. My brother has always liked. He's still alive. His life hasn't ended. It's unfinished period of time. So he has always liked strawberry ice cream. If we speak about people who passed away, then yeah, we can say he liked because he's not with us anymore. But about people who are alive, you say he has always liked. Number four, Dave and Caroline are married for five years. So, what's the correct option? Yeah, they have been married because you cannot say they are married if you mention for how long. If there is any mention of the past, and this sentence sends us back for five years, then you use only perfect forms. Okay, sorry, spoilers. How many times have you been running in a marathon? What's wrong? 
have you run a marathon? Because that's a result. We are interested not for how long have you been running, but how many times. All right. She's had these skis for last winter. So what do you think? She's had these skis for last winter. Since last winter. Yes, of course. Z minulý zemi, not protihom minulý zemi. And the last one, how long are you sitting here? Again, it sends us to the past because we want to know from what time in the past it's happening. So have you been sitting here? Okay, nice job there. So then right now, Let's have just one more practice of use of English task. So I remind you that when we do some use of English activity, first of all, you focus on the sentence before and after, and that helps you. You do not read the whole text. So 41. This is a question that... Puzzles has puzzled, puzzled, had puzzled scientists for centuries. What do you think? If it happened for centuries, what should we use? The answer is B. Yes, exactly, has puzzled. Because it's not only about now, but for centuries. Okay, number two. Some will... No one isn't or aren't is really sure. No one. Number 50. So B, C or D. When we have no one, is it singular or plural? Guys, just remember, when we say everyone, anybody, nobody, that's always like is one person. So no one is really sure. Nikto nasprawdi ne vpevni. 51. Some believe that sleep gives body a chance to recover, recovering, recover or recovers. What is 51 from the day's activities? 51 is A, a chance to recover. Exactly. Chance vidnovitesya. So you use this infinitive vidnovitesya. All right. 52. We can, should, ought, must to sleep because it's essential. So what is 52? It's ought, because can, should, and must cannot be used with to. Guys, we have to sleep here, so it's impossible to use it in continuous. All right. Must sleep, should sleep, can sleep. Only ought to sleep. And the last one. In another, the other, others, or other words, And I see answer D mostly. So yeah, in other words, another goes only for one thing. In other words, like any other, random other. So yeah, that's why it's D. Sleep always a significant role in brain development. Okay, nice work. So that's all from me. Next time. We will practice not grammar, so you will have a chance to get some rest from it. Maybe generalize all those ideas. You know that there is a recording of our webinar that will be available very soon on the platform and in YouTube. So I encourage you to check it, maybe to look through some complicated moments one more time. And good luck in learning English. So thank you too. You were very good today. I really liked your active work in the comments and I really hope to meet all of you next Friday. So goodbye, good evening 
and see you.